A trip to the bowling alley can be a fun but also tiring experience for Alicia Curran. Her son Sam loves to bowl, but he requires special attention. Be gentle, okay? Sam is living with autism. When Sam was little, Alicia and her husband noticed little things about Sam's behavior that made them concerned. At age three, when there was no denying it and my worst fear had come true, um, it was devastating. Alicia says raising a child with autism is not easy, but there are so many blessings. Thank you. Like many mothers, Alicia would like to know why this happened. Very low reflexes. One possibility could be the impact stress has on pregnant women. Dr. David Beversdorf at the University of Missouri School of Medicine looked at a gene known to affect stress. He found a link between it and the development of autism. The key is that uh, stress exposure does appear to be a risk factor for autism, but specifically acting through mothers with a susceptibility gene for greater response to stress. In this study, Dr. Beversdorf, along with a Canadian research team, tested the blood of mothers of children with autism. Their goal was to see if the women carried a certain stress-sensitive gene. Researchers found women who experienced more stress during pregnancy had this gene. The big hope is that it could allow us a mechanism for decreasing the impact of autism at the outset in a fair proportion of cases. While more research is needed on the range of stress-related genes, these findings could also lead to better treatments for people with autism like Sam. But his mom has set the bar high for her son. Alicia believes Sam will one day bowl without her and learn his way around the kitchen. I want him to cook brownies on his own one day. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting.